few days ago, I noticed that in the App Store, there was a new app for Star Wars fans to build their own R2 unit. And, uh, you know, it was okay. I thought it did an okay job. But quite frankly, I thought, you know, this would be very easy to do and probably do a little bit better inside of Adobe Captivate. So I made an attempt to build a drag and drop BB-8 and R2 unit that you could build yourself. Here's the elements of the project that, that I've put together. You can see on my screen here. And I've got a main menu where you can choose to either build an R2 unit or a BB-8 unit. And I thought it would be interesting to do uh, a drag and drop, which would, I think, more closely approximate the building of an actual droid here. So over here on the build an R2 unit, I've got the body of R2-D2 and of course I have his dome head as well. And I was sort of thinking that the initial state for R2's head when you arrive on this slide would be to have it appear a little bit differently. So let's go into state view. What we would do is create an extra state where it's kind of transparent and converted to black and white. Similarly, I've done the same sort of thing with BB-8. And of course, we'll be able to drag in not only BB-8's dome, but uh, the various designs for the sphere body as well. So I wrote a little advanced action that's going to reset the R2's placeholder here. Very simply, what it does is when you arrive on the slide, the first thing it does is changes the state of the R2 unit placeholder dome, that's this one over here on the right-hand side, to that initial state, that transparent black and white state. What we'll do from that point forward is each time you drag one of the optional domes to replace his head, we'll make it completely transparent. So I'm going to go into style here and we're going to go into state view and take a look at this. So the initial state is uh, fully opaque and fully colored. We're going to edit that image and make it 100% down to 0% alpha. And so that's what we'll start with. And then as soon as we drag one of the drag and drops onto there, will change its appearance. So what we need to do with all drag and drops is we need to set up a drag and drop interaction first of all. This is gonna create a submit button. We're not gonna need that. I'm just gonna drag that down into my scrap area here. We're also going to set this up to be a drop target. So the Captivate knows that this is where I'll be dropping those potential R2-D2 heads. So now what we need to do is select all of the uh, remaining domes. And we're going to mark those as drag sources. Now the reason I'm doing this here rather than through the uh, interactions icon and using the drag and drop wizard is I actually don't want to mark a particular answer or a particular dome as correct or incorrect. I just want it to uh, appear as it would normally here. So let's go ahead and click on the drop target, which is the transparent version of R2-D2's head. I'm going to do a couple of changes. First thing, I want them all, they're all different sizes. So I want them to be aligned with the bottom of that drop target. So we're going to change the snap behavior to uh, snap to the bottom of this uh, drop target. The other thing we're going to do is go into the object actions. We're going to uncheck accept all because we only want one dome per R2-D2. And in this case, I'm going to select replace. And we're going to change the action for dragging each of these R2-D2 domes over. In this case, we're simply going to change the state of our R2-D2 placeholder dome to its normal state, which is transparent. So these domes will take its place 
and I'm going to uncheck continue playing the project. I'm going to do the same thing for all of the domes. Okay, so that should work okay. Let's click OK now. And we'll do the same thing for the BB-8, but we're going to do it a little bit differently in this case here. So we have our BB-8 dome. Let's start with that. We'll go into State View here. Again, like before, we're going to make sure that that is uh, transparent in the normal state. And we'll just have this initial state that our on enter advanced action will take care of. And similarly, we're going to also do the same thing for the sphere as well, which makes up BB-8's body. So again, we'll edit this image. We'll drop the alpha down to zero and click OK here. We'll exit the state. And we're going to, first of all, create a drag and drop interaction. Like before, we'll move our submit button down off of the uh, slide itself. I'll have to reselect these. We're going to mark those as drop targets. And we're going to do the same thing for all the domes. Now, here's an interesting little piece that we're going to do as well. We're going to mark all of the domes as drag sources but we're going to set them up as part of a group or a type, if you will. And in this case here, we're going to call these domes so that they're all part of the same group. And we're going to do the same thing for the spheres. Again, we'll part make them all part of the same group or type. And we'll go into drag and drop here. We'll also mark these as drag sources, but make them part of the spheres. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select, let's start with the dome, the placeholder for the dome here. Uh, again, as before, I'm going to uh, snap the behavior to the bottom of that image. And we'll go to object actions here. And you can see now we only want to allow domes. This is the, again, that type of drag and drop that we've accepted. So we'll set it up to only allow one replace and we're not going to let the spheres go into that so that we'll just uncheck spheres and again the action will be like before we're going to change the state of in this case here the dome drop target back to normal and uncheck continue playing the project and click OK. We'll click OK again and similarly we'll do the same thing here we can keep the sphere centered since it is a sphere we'll go into object actions here we'll uncheck domes because we don't want domes going down there uncheck accept all and we'll do replace and we'll change that action to change the state of in this case the sphere drop target back to normal uncheck continue playing the project and we'll click ok and click OK once more. So I think this is going to be a better experience than the Disney app, but let's test it out and see what it's like. So let's start off by building an R2 unit. So you can see I've got that sort of transparent placeholder here. Now let's drag one of our domes over. Excellent. And you can see that the placeholder has been returned to normal and that looks pretty good. Let's go back to the home state here and let's build a BB unit. So let's start off by selecting our sphere. That's cool. And maybe we'll do something a little more interesting like that one. And again, you can swap them out all day long until you're happy with the design that you have. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.